So the, uh, you know, the preliminary data, and this is mostly you know, coming out of a bunch of academic labs, top academic labs, uh, including, uh, 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 is, you know, is encouraging that something like this may be possible, at least uh, to expand protection to kind of a universal vaccine that would protect against, you know, several coronaviruses, say, uh, you know, SARS and you know, MERS and even this one and potentially, you know, the idea would be to uh, get something, say, you know, if there was, if these strains, these, these variants keep coming at us, or if, you know, we get new bat coronaviruses, you know, say COVID-26 COVID or SARS-3, you know, a few years from now, which is a likelihood. The idea would be to have something already produced and stockpiled so a single shot or single series of shot shots could provide long-lasting protection against like a whole bunch of coronaviruses. And in the wake of Omicron, some researchers are saying, you know, this is needed more than ever, you know, but the difficulty is going to be, you know, the economics of that, because, you know, it's much easier, it's much more straightforward to produce a new booster than to come out with a whole new vaccine. So who's going to pay for that and what how our government's going to put, you know, put the investment in to see, to really investigate and then show that this is possible. Hey, thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, documentaries, interviews, deep dives, and shows on the stories that you care most about.